Hey guys, I wanted to give you um, a quick just video of some things that were on my mind. Um, a couple of people have talked about how they would love some nutrition tips. And I was thinking about that and like my first thought was, well, follow the nutrition guide and you'll get results, which is kind of the basic underlying theme here. Like you, it, the better results you want to get, the closely, more closely you will adhere to your nutrition guide for whatever program you're doing. Um, and I definitely don't want to say that that is not important because it, it very much is. But the more important thing is l like long term, right? We want to think long term. So here's some things that I have done over the last year that have helped me because food is my big problem. Like I like to exercise. I don't have, I don't have too many difficulties keeping with an exercise program. Like Sometimes I do, but in general, I like to work out. But food is hard for me, so um, I wanted to give you some tips of things that I've done over the last year that have made my consistency a lot better, that have kind of busted some of my excuses that I would normally have, um, that have led me to be 25 pounds lighter this time, or at this time this year than I was at this time last year. So here's a few things that I do. Um, I try to keep it as simple as possible. I like to cook, sort of, but, um, I don't really like to spend a lot of time cooking. That doesn't relax me. That stresses me out. So what I try to do is I try to make things in bulk at the beginning of the week or like over the weekend that I can eat the whole week. So some of my staples are like, I'll make a big pot of quinoa, um, or brown rice or something like that that I can mix into a, like multiple meals and like spice up different recipes and stuff but I don't have to spend the time cooking that every time because rice takes a while to cook um, and who wants to spend the time on that every time you need a meal so I cook things like that in bulk we grill chicken once a week in bulk um, what are some other things that we do um, I eat a lot of salads because it's easy and raw vegetables are really, really good for you. Um, and that's a really good way to get your greens in is you just knock them out <laughs> in one meal and then they're done for the day. I mean, I, I pretty much do. I pretty much eat most of my greens in a salad and then I'll have, I'll have a green with dinner usually. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of how I like to do it. I find it's easier that way. So big takeaway though, um, bulk cook your stuff and then mix it into recipes throughout the week so that that stuff is already cooked and you just have to heat it. Um, another tip that I have is that I don't try to force myself to like things that I don't like to eat. There's a lot of food on those nutrition lists and you don't have to eat all of them. If there's stuff on there that you think is nasty, don't force yourself to eat it. Like, this is not about crash dieting. It's not about forcing yourself into a lifestyle that you can't sustain. In fact, it's the opposite. It's about creating a lifestyle that you can sustain that is balanced in a way that is going to keep you um, at a healthy weight. So if you don't like um, Brussels sprouts, don't eat Brussels sprouts. Like, I think, I think, People sometimes get caught up in like, oh, there's this big list of food. I have to eat everything on this list. No, you don't. You just pick the things that you enjoy eating from that list and then figure out how to eat them in a proportion that is going to keep you at a healthy weight. Um, another tip that I have for you is to just realize like wherever you are, you're only in competition with the person you were yesterday. So if you're like, man, I don't really like a lot of vegetables, that's okay. Your tastes will change over time. We know this, like that is that is true, that happens. Um, so find the things that you already like and just be like, all right, that's what I like and I'm gonna eat those things because that's what you're already doing anyway. Um, I don't know, just don't don't put pressure on yourself like to like all the vegetables. I like a lot of vegetables. That's my natural state of things, but that doesn't matter and that shouldn't affect what you like to do. If you like, I don't know, five of the vegetables, um, you can rotate them out. I, I guess my point is, is don't get too hung up um, and overthink things. Like this is just about creating balance and figuring out what the right portions are for you to keep you at the weight that you want to be at. Um, 
if nutrition is not your thing, if, um, if something else is your thing, let me know and I can, you know, make a little video about my tips for that. I certainly haven't overcome everything, but I mean, I am 25 pounds lighter this year than I was last year. And I think I've figured some things out. Um, so I'm happy to share those with you, but those are my nutrition tips. Just really keep it simple. Bulk cook your foods because like, I don't know, unless cooking really relaxes you and that's fun time for you, why spend extra time doing it every day? Um, and then just don't force yourself into eating a bunch of stuff that you don't like because it's not sustainable and that's not the point of this. Like we are not trying to create a lifestyle that we hate. We are just trying to tweak the lifestyle that we have so that it is most beneficial to us. All right, guys, I hope this was a little bit helpful and I'll talk to you later.